Hello everyone, I'll share with you a quick story, true story. Uh, I'm going to share with you who is responsible uh, for setting in motion the Building in Ghana series um, that everybody is doing right now. Uh, there's a young lady from UK, a single young lady, in October 30th, 2014, who set into motion what is to come to what it is now. She posted her first video on YouTube about building in Ghana. I had been building around 22 of August, but I was not on YouTube yet. And I looked on YouTube around February 2016, and I saw her doing her thing over there. I also added my video. My first video was February 2016. And... We started in motion, and six months later, another lady, single lady from YouTube, uh, also joined the crew. Moved to Ghana, building her bungalow at that time, uh, Yayon Hat. And she also started inspiring the movement by showing what she is doing as well. The three of us started putting videos out there in our capacity that we could. I think I was doing probably one or two videos a year at that time. And so we started the hard work because at that time people were building, but people didn't want to put anything on YouTube. And so I remember people were telling us, listen, you guys are exposing yourself to all kinds of threats, exposing your houses, you know how people can be and all kinds of stuff. But in spite of all that, we are naive, excited, uh, to build our dream homes. And so we were grinding. You know, we made mistakes because we had no idea what we were doing. We were talking, collaborating with each other, sharing, you know, offering input of um, things that could help each other. And so our goal at that time was, man, we hope someday there'll be so many people that will join us and they can also build their homes. Uh, as well. That was the goal and aspiration at that time. Nobody was talking about YouTube career and none of us from the original group uh YouTube careers. Actually, the grandmother who started all these things, grandmother not as in age, but as the oldest, she's not even active on YouTube, right? So I want to take the time and appreciate what she said in motion because that allowed me to come in and add my and others to come in and build a foundation that is allowing everybody else to do what they are doing now. And so we hang in there, and then around uh, the second wave came with Ashanti Queens and another groups that were there, also adding building blocks to the foundation. And that created a bigger foundation and on, on around 2018, you know, the year of return talk, the year of return talk to come to Ghana over 400 years of, of slavery and that kind of stuff got a lot of the people. There was a mobilization effort. The first time in masses for people to actually even consider Ghana as a suitable place for either business or build something. And even up onto that, it still had to take some of our African-American sisters to actually move to the continent and also show us what they could do, whether in their building series or some other services. And, and so they also did their part, you know, as well. So I'm focusing on just a positive aspect. They also did their part as well. And because what they did, I think was very important as well, because you could go on their YouTube channels when they got there and they were showing what they were doing. You can see a lot of Ghanaians in the comment section saying that for the first time, I want to go back home. They were actually men crying over there and do something. We had been in the trenches doing all that kind of stuff in a way, taking all the risk and all the mistakes. So the dream that we had hoped for now is coming to fruition in the sense of you have the masses coming in. So 2019, 2020, people are building, 2021, 2022 are building. So around that thing came also everybody's building, okay? 
So when everybody's building, when you have masses of people building, the quality of things also go down because um, they don't have the insight. Some of them do have the insight. Uh, it's their first time, just like we made mistakes when we started. They are also making some of the mistakes. And we, the OGs, are talking to each other and say, are you seeing this? These people are doing the same thing we did, that our houses are completed, and we are still paying prices for them now. They say yes. But there was also another component. I feel like the gratitude and the respect was not given to the original grandmother who set into motion, and some of, some of you people don't even know who she is, into motion, birthed all of us to be able to do and to those that build the foundation for people to build off of the knowledge that we gained through hard work and sweat. I feel like the respect was not due to her. I feel like the respect was not given to the OGs who had led the groundwork as well. And so you have that aspect. And in that time, people were using us a lot, taking our knowledge, our time, and everything, never giving back. And people still do that to now, never giving back. But also, you also have some other people that are building. You take a little bit of comments, make a little bit of in there. That is, we see that as well. So, as one of the OGs from the beginning, I check in with the original OGs and I say, are you all seeing this? They say, are we seeing this? So, six months after building, I came back in again to join the new group and to do something in my capacity much more refined and better because there's an experience uh, in what we have been doing seven, eight years before that. So I came in. Um, so most of the original groups, I would say they are retired. I'll keep it that way. So I told them I'm coming in uh, to bring something that is unique in my own capacity. So I came in and we started talking about Elevated Foundation. Nobody's even talking about Elevated Foundation or the flooding. So we did Elevated Foundation, proper foundation. We did um, Dump Proof. And everybody's doing Dump Proof now in those days. So the point is this. The original funders will want nothing more than for you guys to succeed at your greatest potential because that's what we were hoping for to succeed but we also see the mistakes that you guys are making some of you are making that we did and so we want the quality it's our suggestion that will help you the quality to improve because to them they are not vocal we want your quality to improve we want your content on the building to improve because this is what we know that you don't know yet yet now that what you put out there, what you say out there, somebody is going to literally take word for word and screenshot your building and try to duplicate it. It's going to happen. I don't care if you have two subscribers or, or 10,000 subscribers. What you put there, somebody is going to literally copy everything. So what we put there must be good. That's the standard. Must be good because somebody is taking that information. It's very, very important. So if I put something crappy over there, somebody's going to pick it up and, and go for it. It's not an attack. It can never be an attack. Because look at it this way. We have built something remarkable. We built, when we were building, we wanted to build homes that will fit in Miami, will fit in LA. That's what we did. We weren't building to Ghana standard. Because we want people to look at these homes and say, man, in Africa, you guys have these homes. That is the goal, to build something. So when people say we're changing the narratives, 
We are building the narratives. We are building the narratives. So it makes sense to me that when you see these OGs and the grandmother, you say, thank you for starting something in motion because they would love to help you make sure you also succeed. And the mistakes we all made can be beneficial to you so you don't have to go through that. So correction is always needed for growth. Facts. It's always needed for growth. If you want to grow, you need correction. We all got corrected. We still getting corrected. So if you watch my video and you see something's up, shoot me an email. Or make a comment. Show me what it is. I'll look at it. I can't see everything over there. It's not personal. To me, it, it doesn't even matter. So that is what is important. Okay, and when people, and I'll address another thing, when people say that business is to help you, and some of you are saying, oh, I don't want to buy a consultation because then he's going to make money and do other stuff. Listen, so, some of our people's mind is so bad that the, the mindset that we inherited is still in there. It's intact. And they've moved outside Africa or Ghana and it's still 100% intact. For me, if you think your consultation is what is going to make me successful, you are not really paying attention. Do you see Momo on Cash App, you know, Patreon, PayPal, or my this thing? Do you see me promoting Get a Channel to 100,000? I don't promote that. If it gets there, it gets there. It doesn't get there, it's irrelevant. I got a ring. I went to the NBA. Not literally. I built a house. I was successful at it. I learned a lot. Made a ton of mistakes from there. So worst case, I have a beautiful, gorgeous house. That is more than I need for whatever. So what you don't know, some of you are not going to make it. Because not everybody goes through college. And makes it. So when the OGs are saying, listen, bend this way, bend this way, bend this way, because I'll tell you something. The reasons why sometimes we don't, we say come to consultation, it's not about me personally trying to make any money off you. Because something's going to happen when you finish this house. Some of the people in your chat group right now, they're happy for you. They, they will hate your God. They'll be very unhappy that you finish. Some of your friends will be unhappy. A lot of things will happen. Some of your family members, a lot that do happen. And when you finish the house, how are you going to protect it? How are you going to protect the house? Both in the U.S. and Ghana. How are you going to protect it? These are information people that have done it bigger and better share with us. I said, listen, we build this house. You got to go talk to this person. Make sure, you, you know, it's bomb proof. Whatever happens, the house will be secured. Those are not public information. So, at the end of the day, yes, you can do whatever you want. But your mind, you know, black people set up businesses and black people will not support. Because the whole issue is this. I don't want him to be successful. So they would rather go someplace and patronize. That mindset is insane. Literally insane. At least if you're not going to support me, great. Go support the other group that are doing it well. Show respect to the people that were in the trenches who were facing all kinds of... Make no mistakes. People have tried to take us down. People have come up with schemes to take us down. Schemes. And some YouTubers were involved. Schemes. But in spite of all that, we are here and we share the input that uh, we have to help you so you can build a house that is safe, unique, unlike anybody else, beautiful. So when we show pictures and say, listen, all these, see all these houses, they are all in Ghana. If 
you like, wow. Okay, so that is what it's about. So my channel is not going to give you honey and biscuit. We're going to give you solutions, ideas, online stuff, the building tips that we come across because some building tips are coming from big doors in Ghana too who have much more resources than we do. And they also share with us certain things. And we come here and we share with you. So the most important thing is this, from the OGs and the original grandmother, and I would consider the father, and another mother and all the brothers and sisters that laid the foundation for everything here is this. Elevate what you do. The content must be good. Before you say something about land stuff, check with land commission people. Before you say something about foundation, make sure the information is good. Before you show something, double check. Because as much as we don't want to say there's no errors, there are errors that has been run through different people. I have shown videos to civil engineers in this country, and they have been asking me, do you guys have building code in Ghana? And I say we do but they don't check them. These are not shot. You can't be shot. I already got mine. And I'm still in the game for the second one. So these are not shot. So your enemy is in your group. It's in your chats. Will Smith just lost everything he built for. Doesn't matter. Every good he did has been crumbled in the span of two minutes. And what do we tell what did they what did the people with wisdom told us? That which you spend decades building can be destroyed in a minute. So we understand that. So when you're building, people will be, things will happen. But we test it. We test it in all kinds of ways. And a lot of things are gonna happen. And those things I don't go into deep. Because it would dissuade some people from even attempting. So we keep it private. We keep it private. There's a lot of people that are going through stuff. They don't have a YouTube channel. And some of the stories. I understand why they don't want to talk about. So. Do your content. Maintain your personality. Elevate the, the quality of your content. Elevate the quality of your build because it's important. Somebody's going to duplicate that. All right? So, we, our dream came true by the OGs are saying that don't make the same mistakes we did. And we're trying to correct you so you can do it better than what we did before. I am telling you, man. Some of the challenges, the mistakes we did now, we're still paying right now, today, 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 today. It's just that sometimes they don't want to speak up. So they say, Tony, say it. Let them know. So shout out to all the original grandmother and the founding people and all those people that set the stage for everybody that came 2018, 2019, 20. So when you see those people in their channel, they might not have the biggest channel. Give them gratitude and say thank you. Be gratified and say thank you. All right? Other than that, this is it. Uh, build strong, build safe, build unique, win. And let's put, let's show the world that Africa can also build nice home. All right, talk, see you Saturday.